And speaking of, so looking forward to this right now, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, on the importance of gender equality, how the pandemic has affected women's lives personally, professionally. She joins us right now. Bonjour, Sophie. So good to speak with you on this International <laughs> Women's Day. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bon matin, <laughs> so good to have you here. And Melanie and I happen mm -hmm. to be wearing the same color pink, I guess, to celebrate the big news. Uh, it's Women's Day and the baby that's coming, Megan's little one, a little girl. Little girl. I know it's always been at the forefront of your platform to support women mm -hmm. and, and, and build each other up. Why has that always been so important to you, Sophie? Because it's not a platform for me. It's a way of being. It's a way of interacting with other human beings. I think that, um, you know, as somebody who suffered from eating disorders and mental health issues when I was younger, um, I, through, through my own, you know, path of recovery, I realized that as women and as human beings in general, our, our path of suffering and our path to happiness are linked. And when you live from that place inside your heart, your, your, your whole relationship to other human beings really transforms. And I really want to be using my voice and, and in this instance, my, my platform, yes, you know, technically speaking, because I take, um, I take the well-being of, of my sisters and my friends and all women on this planet seriously without taking myself too seriously. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's you know, gender inequality is at the source of so many other problems that we face as a society and as a planet. Sophie, thank you so much for being so transparent about mental health because this should be top of mind for our conversation for our young women and as women in general, we should have these conversations for you in this high profile role. What is it like to have the pressures on you on a daily basis? You know what, I'm not sure people have the right uh, perception of what my daily life uh, looks like. I'm a mom of three, uh, you know, I, I keep things real, I'm grounded, I do my own, I try to do my own work to stay grounded, to remain balanced, I meditate, I do yoga, I work, uh, so I try to, you know, manage that balance and I, and I think I do pretty well because I do uh, take care of myself. Uh, in, in some ways, a lot of women and girls don't have, I would say, the opportunity to take care of themselves or the, the privilege in some ways to be able to have time to do that. Uh, most women right now, and, and too many women right now in Canada are suffering because of this, you know, she session that we call from, from COVID because uh, women and, 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 and their families are being touched directly by, and, and, and mostly by all the consequences of this pandemic. And, you know, some of them are losing their jobs. Some of them need to stay home. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, affordable housing and affordable daycare. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to say that uh, without being the politician, that the federal government is taking this very seriously and that $100 million has been uh, um, you know, given to organizations across the country uh, and shelters across the country. I've been in the past few months talking to women who have been telling me their stories and they're not fun to hear at all because this is really happening in our own country and we need to be able to stand tall and, and stand together and, and make sure we go forward with the feminist recovery. And this is the crucial uh, theme for what the government has in plan to uh, to to rise with this country and with, with all Canadians. Yeah, well mm -hmm. said. And you mentioned your, your kids, your amazing kids. I love the post recently with Ella Grace and you have the, in the foreground that gorgeous cupcake card. Who knew <laughs> that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, your husband, was such an artist, by the way. Yeah, no, you know what? Like, I keep telling him he doesn't believe me because I'm a painter. I love to paint, but honestly, <laughs> He's an artist. He's so awesome. talented. So I'm like, hey, plan B one day. <laughs> exactly. But you, you talk about the fact that men, at, you know, young boys at a young age also have to learn to support and respect women. We're all in this together. There is, you know, we always talk about this kind of very narrow definition of femininity that we grow up with as women, but boys grow up with a very narrow definition of masculinity. And on, today on International Women's Day, when we talk about equality, if we don't include our boys and our men in this equation to build more justice within ourselves as human beings and, you know, within each other, uh, we, we will not progress. And we need to express what is repressed, what where we are hurting inside ourselves uh, as boys and girls and women and men to be able to, uh, to move forward with a lot more perspective Effective wisdom and, and courage and vision. This year has been a very interesting one, a very challenging one for so many. You mentioned this, the she session that we are seeing here with a lot of women being forced out of the workplace. What is your message to the women who are watching today who are looking ahead to 2021? You're never alone. There are allies everywhere along your path. We are here and there's people who, who really wish your well-being and there are also 
tools everywhere across the country and people who want to help out. Um, Wellness Together Canada, Wellness Together Canada is a um, government website, federal government website with all the, uh, I would say, the, the help that you would be searching for and to be able to direct you to where uh, your needs are and what kind of help you need uh, to get through this. And also know that uh, we care and that this uh, this government and this, you know, Canadians across the country want people to get better. We all want to, you know, get out of this uh, this challenging year and move on as human beings uh, healthily and also with more justice, more quality, and um, that you can create that within yourself in your everyday life. When we realize that we're all in this together, we're going to rise all together as well. And here we are, mm-hmm. you know, approaching the one-year pandemic milestone, if we call it that. Sophie, you were one of the first prominent public figures who we heard were diagnosed with contracted COVID-19. What was going through your mind at the time? Because I'm thinking it was so new then. And yeah. how was it for you? And what do you see for the country moving forward now that we are a year into this? Right. No, Dina, that's a great question, because at that time, I didn't even know what was going to happen. Yeah. Right. And I'm such a healthy individual, so healthy. I'm never sick. And I was like, OK, this is happening. I adapted. I, I, uh, I took care of myself. And, um, you know, I didn't have many lasting symptoms, which is really I'm, I'm really lucky because a lot of Canadians uh, that's not the case for them mm-hmm. and you know with uh, with pro- programs across the country with vaccination uh, you know taking place and, and, and being paced out uh, and also taking care of the most vulnerable people that's super important as a, as a society to make sure that that's where we work from and when we work with the most vulnerable we work where the inequality is and I think that's the most important thing to do right now uh, to get out of this crisis is to see the truth see the truth face our truth as human beings, face our truth as a society, and make decisions based on facts and research. So important. Yeah, well well said. said. Thank goodness you're okay. I know physical activity and fitness is a huge part of your life. I see you snowshoeing out there. You embrace <laughs> it, Sophie. You're amazing. We do something called moving in the morning here every day. So if you want to stick around, feel free to do so and join us. We're doing some soccer moves to get us moving Hi. this morning. Love to you and the family. Stay safe and well. And thank, thank you for you your time today, thank Sophie. You. Happy International Women's Day. Hope to see you soon, you too, one of these days. So join us. Mel, will you join us in your skirt? Oh, boy. Soccer star? You know Soccer what? I, I can't. I would typically, but I cannot oh, today. I can't. Okay, fine. We're doing that next, friends. Join us. Whether you have a soccer ball or not, we're going to have a ball. There it is. <laughs> you got out of it? You got out of it, Mel? Oh, fine. <laughs>